An Iowa man is upset over a state law that's making him pay child support for a kid that isn't his. Joe Van Dusen received a letter from the Iowa Department of Human Resources ordering him to pay child support. Support, and Joe says, "Well, wait a minute. I haven't seen my estranged wife in 16 or 17 years. They never got divorced. This new child turned one. Now Joe is being ordered to pay child support. It's not even his kid." He hasn't it's seen so his wife strange. in 16 years. But it's, I mean, when it comes down to it, that's the law. I don't, I don't know who the, the wife hired as a lawyer to find that out and to go after him for that. But since then, he set up kind of a crowdfunding page. He's raised money for the legal fees. And other fathers in Iowa, or is it Iowa? Yeah, yeah. yeah. three they, other fathers. Yeah, they've come out and said, like, this has happened to me, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, wow. if you're going to be separated from your spouse, you should probably get a divorce. But this does go to the issue, and there was some reporting in the structure about this this weekend talking about kind of what many believe are outdated laws about spousal support yeah. considering the way life uh, operates today. I'd like to know who the father is and why he isn't paying child support. Well, maybe he is, but he's, she's yeah. entitled by law to this additional money. Yeah, they need to, Crazy story. <laughs> need to yeah. fix that. Huh. We're looking for your feedback. Do you agree with the Iowa law and think that Joe needs to pay up? Is it his own fault for not getting a divorce or is this whole thing just silly? Send your thoughts by going to WCCO.com slash Facebook or comment on Twitter. A topic, Kylie. Huge response to this online. I'm not surprised at all. Candace says, based on the very brief information in this article, he should not. However, I suspect there's more to the story. Perhaps he needs to do a paternity test to show he is not the father or show proof of separation for 16 years. He is going to do a paternity test. And we just talked to Jonathan Fogel, the lawyer who was here yeah. before, and he said the law is the same in Minnesota where you just have to go to court and prove that you're not the father. Debbie says he needs to file that paperwork that says he's not, and here's Debbie saying the same thing. If you're yeah. legally married to someone, you are the father, even if you're not the biological father. That is the law. Sue yeah. says they definitely should fix that law. It's true that they should have gotten divorced if they aren't together, but that is way different than paying for a child that you shouldn't be responsible for. And then Jessica says, whoever signs the recognition of parentage form at the hospital when the mother is unmarried, that person by signing assumes legal responsibility for the child. That's always explained to the person before they but sign. But she and, is married. And she is married. So I think But maybe this person it. didn't sign the, yeah, she's still married. The bottom line is, if you're going to break up your, with your spouse, it's probably a good idea to just go ahead and yep. get sign divorced. And file the paperwork. 17 years of estrangement. And then watch Mid-Morning for tax advice on how to <laughs> get right. through that. We got you covered here. <laughs>